Hello guys and welcome to a new Steel Division video today by me Vulcan. Today I have you game one in a best of three between Player and Fulhati in the semi-finals of Herr Robert's Grand Tournament. Today we are going to be seeing Sho and on the allied side Player is going to be using the first Panzerna and on the Axis side Vulhati is going to be using the 116th Panzer. So both of these players have proven themselves up to this point, player defeating Jarl Conrad in round one, and he also defeated uh, Walther in the quarterfinals, so two formidable names that he has taken on already. Volhati, on the other hand, has defeated Eugen in the second round and defeated Kerbs in the quarterfinals, so has also done very well to get to this point, and that means we have two very good opponents going up against each other. Let's have a little bit of talk about these divisions they are playing. I'm actually really excited to see Vohati on the 116th Panzer. I think he's extremely good with his infantry micro, but I haven't seen him really go and succeed well with sort of tank-esque gameplay. I think we've sort of seen combined arms in a sense of the second armoured, but not so much solely reliant on motorized units are much more like the 116th is things like the panzer three is accompanied by like pumas and the sdk of zeds all that good stuff um it's something that i'm really looking forward to on the side of player of course it's the first panzer and we've seen them many times now and um, they have the hurricanes which are really good close like air support then they have the cromwell sixes which can engage at the 1000 200 meter range you can maybe control this bottom side of the map early on they do have the assistance of plenty of cheap infantry and they have the staghounds available which can be very useful in the town and we have seen that uh, happen um, throughout other games in the tournament where these staghounds have found the close range engagements and swung the uh, game in favor of the player who was using them but let's have a look at some of the units actually being placed down on the top side here we have the Strelsi, uh, there's two Strelsi for the town with the command, infantry and a stag count. Further down it's going to be uh, a Strelsi with a Dragoni, uh, then for the middle of the map it's going to be a six pounder with the Strelsi and some recon, another Strelsi unit and then six pounder and recon for the bottom side. So it looks like players just going to be relying on that AT at the 1000 meter range to do the job, which isn't actually a bad idea against the 116th because the 116th I don't believe has any significant 1200 meter range unit in phase A. Um, they have like 258s which they could fire position short and potentially they could fire a Panzer 3 short but that wouldn't really work very well because a Panzer 3 only has one HE on its main gun. So those six pounders should be relatively safe and won't die quickly anyway. Uh, so we'll continue to be a nuisance throughout the game and something that uh, player can therefore take advantage of. On the side of the 116th, uh, we can see after that lag, which zoomed me in really quickly, sorry about that, um, the 250-10 is going to be brought in with a Panzerschreck, two, SBW 2341, SBW 232, 251, and a Panzer 3M, which is a three-star veterancy. These Panzer threes can be actually really scary if they engage target that they can penetrate. Um, and if there's a lot of vehicles on the side of player, it's something that uh, Vohati can take advantage of. However, Panzer threes don't do as well against like a serious amount of infantry. So that can be a problem that the 116th kind of bumps into because their own infantry availability is actually really low. And it looks like just such an investment on this top side for Vohati uh, he's only got a one spear troop with a 251 on this bottom side, which means these jeeps are going to make massive salience if they decide to get aggressive. And considering the territory is opening up like this, I would not be surprised to see player try and move up into those salience. So this is a very in heavy investment up here that's really got to pay off for Vohati. Otherwise, he's going to be in trouble. Uh, because he's already relinquished a plus two for player, just allowed him to take that territory. And that's something he can sort of fix moving on, but uh, doing it 
early on like this means that player can maybe get some annoying units into these tree lines which will be harder for his vehicles to take care of as he won't have infantry to advance into those places in the first place. And the SPW-232 is under threat and that is the only command and therefore taking that out is an extremely good move here from player. He's actually micro the staghound so damn well to remain out of line of sight of any units that could actually threaten him whilst killing that SPW-232. There is now a Panzerwerfer on the way to the top side. SPW-2341 will be able to clean up um, the Jeep here and the M5 half-track and close uh, this salient a little, stopping the plus two. But whether or not that's going to work in the long run remains to be seen, especially with a six-pounder being pulled further up in the mid here. Panzer Grenadiers do get taken out nice and easy as well by player. Having those pinned down and then surrendered is actually really bad for the 116th player because again their limited availability of infantry in the first place. Uh, 2341 was taken out by the Staghound there once again nice Staghound micro this one on the road maybe not so much the Panzer 3M did take that out with its shot there. SPW2341 in the mid does take out that Jeep so we're back to only a plus one for player but he is just in such a strong position and it's just allowing him to move these six pounders forward so damn aggressively like he initially deployed them further back into say this tree line i think he deployed it into this tree line but he picked it up again with his universal carrier and had dragged them forwards which now puts the threat like onto vohati's units if he tries to contest and stack hound once again uh, taking care of another unit the uh, 250 10 has been taken out and the stack hound micro has just like I said, it's just been on point. Really, really good play from player. Cromwell 5, that's uh, been brought in now. Definitely something that can challenge the Panzer 3M, especially when the Panzer 3M is lacking that extra veterancy that it really needs to shine. Like With the three-star veterancy, I think the Panzer 3M can be so damn deadly against things like Cromwell 7s with 7 front armor. But um, because it doesn't, it means that the Cromwell 5 actually... Fight, like sort of fights a Panzer 3 quite well. Now with the Panzerwerfer coming in, it's pinned down a lot of the infantry here and Vohati is trying his best to take advantage of that by now moving in the Panzer Grenadiers. If he jumps out into the building, I think he'll spot and therefore surrender the Dragoni since the uh, command infantry was also hit by that uh, Panzerwerfer. But with the half track actually being attacked by the staghound I believe that's ended up with the Panzer Grenadiers being pinned the, the half track does get out of the way staghound's now pressing onto the 2341 speed through upon the bottom side left all on their own after their half track was killed and well this is a pretty tough situation here for Vahati he needs like a Panzer 3 or something down here to uh, stop this from ending really really badly because players I think realize that he can move so damn aggressively uh, with this jeep now and is going to be tucking up behind these trees so that the SBW2341 uh, can't shoot it and the staghound will be then able to move more freely and engage that at range. So even more emphasis once again put onto the town by Vohati here. Uh, focusing on the infantry engagements uh, with a division that really doesn't have the infantry availability and that's something that really worries me moving forwards in this game. Does definitely need to keep these Panzergrenfuhrer alive so having them in front at the moment is not the best idea because the lack of veterancy on the 116th units makes such a difference in my opinion. Now Piet does actually kill a half track there so nice job by player. Uh, having exploited the ground on the bottom side so far he's now speeding towards 450 points which is a significant lead and the command does end up going down which is not good at all. Now Panzerwerfer will be ready soon enough for a second salvo into the town but once again another Panzergrenadier going to get hit hard by the Cromwell 5 
And I just don't think that's something that Vohati can afford to do. It seems like he's picked a division that just doesn't really suit his playstyle and is suffering because of it. So Panzer Grenadiers now on three and four men. Well, two and four men now, respectively. And there's three minutes left in phase B. That's quite significant because players are just going to be able to reinforce with more Strelsi and the Dragoni. And Vohati won't have the infantry availability left, which means all of this effort that's been put on into the town will have been for nothing. And having that being the case uh, means that um, the engagements on the bottom side are just like really weak now for Vohati as well because he doesn't have enough points invested in this area. So this 57-58% uh, territory lead is going to remain relatively the same. And the Panzerstreck might be able to kill this Staghound, which would give a bit of respite to the units in the town here. But that Panzerwerf is not really going to hit too much, I don't believe. It did do some damage initially, but uh, in the end, the half track didn't surrender anything and got killed by the command. Half track on that top side also now killed, which removes the ground from Vohati as well. Panzerstreck did kill the Staghound, but. Now he's relying on these Panzer Treks to hold off against these 10-man squads of Stralsi, which is not ideal. Ooh, nice kill there, though. Panzer 3M, just before it gets internal fragmented, kills the Cromwell, uh, the Cromwell 5. That is very significant, but the Cromwell 6 on the bottom side of the town is going to make things very awkward. Stralsi are going to move forward there, kill off the uh, Spade Troop. Can see that the uh, SBW two three four one went aggressive onto the jeep to remove that from causing a salient, but in the end did get killed off, likely by the six pound that's being towed by the universal carrier and the micro that players use to use these sort of universal carriers to push the six pounders forwards is is incredibly smart and something he's done very well so far. Well, Hattie now going to be coming in with the Marder three. And it's something that he could have maybe used on the bottom side earlier to like engage these six pounders. But it would have definitely relied a lot more on not committing so much to this town. So the allocation of forces here really starting to, to show as player takes back the town and starts to make a lot of ground. This Panzer III also really can't do too much, so that's in a tough position, and it's unlikely Vohati can really afford to bring in a supply right now, although he will need to eventually in order to resupply his Panzerwerfer. So Marder III, that's going to be looking for a shot onto the Cromwell VI. One thing the player could do though, especially now that he has two Cromwell VI, is, is maybe just double fire position the Marder III at range and then just engage it with both Cromwell 6s at the same time. It'd be a much higher chance of therefore taking it out. Now smart kill there from the 6 pounder onto the 251 and having already like lost his territory down here, player's just been able to reinforce it or at least get his units forwards enough into awkward positions. That's making it very difficult now for Vahati to like push back. And um, one trouble with the 116th is that its income doesn't really get much better from here on out. Um, he has 90 in phase A which is pretty strong but into phase B and C it's mediocre especially compared to the first Panzerna which has 15 more points per minute in phase B and that's like an extra Strelsi squad per minute basically when you put it in context and um, that's a lot especially for these sort of town engagements again where Vohati has invested a lot of his points. Uh, this 6 pounder has managed to get the track wheel damage onto the 232. It looks like the 232 did manage to do a little bit of damage to the 6 pounder uh, before it got forced to fall back. But that's a 232 down and a Panda 3M again left with 2 star veterancy instead of the potential 3 star veterancy, which makes a lot of difference. Panzer Gunfjord are brought in towards the town. Now we're in phase B. Vohati will have more infantry availability that he can use to contest the town once again, but at this point I would say 
it's a bit of a lost cause. Um, you're more likely to make ground elsewhere. Maybe you bring in, I think, Jagdpanzer in phase B is, a, is an option for the 116th. And uh, try and make some ground across the open with that instead. Because this is just so damn difficult for the 116th to deal with. It really is. 2-3-2. Two, two. Oh, I was expecting the Cromwell 5 to get the quick kill there, but quick fingers from... Vohati meant that was not the case. Is he going to do it a second time round? Not yet. Cromwell 5 might end up getting a second shot. Panzerek though, that's creeping forwards. And surely that was going to find a kill. But it doesn't. It's a 9, 10, sorry, accuracy. Panzerschreck, 2 star veterancy. It has a second chance. Track will destroyed is all it's going to be for now. With the Strelsi on target. I don't think they're going to get the kill. No, they didn't find it in the end. The Bren guns not quite doing the job. 2-3-2. Two, two. That's going to have a go though. I think it's just keeping the Cromwell 5 pinned so that the Panzer 4 can come in and clean it up without having to risk the Panzer Shrek. It's really smart actually. So now some Stern Pioneers coming in to help with this town engagement. Panzerstrike actually jumping forwards there to clean things up. Does get the kill. Job done. Now that's going to allow the 232 and the Panzer IV actually to be very aggressive towards this town. And as long as he manages his engagements uh, well in terms of range, he shouldn't really be caught out by a Piat. Still a plus two for player. He's counted over the 1,250 point mark almost. And that's very, very difficult to come back from because he's got to make back the territory plus the extra points. The Vahati in a very tough spot. And look at this. This is so damn cheeky from player. Instead of allowing the six-pounder to just be mortared, he's picked up the six-pounder and he's actually aggressively pushing it towards the mortar carrier so that he can then unload it in the face of it. And the mortar carrier won't be able to do a thing. And since the 257s don't come equipped with machine guns, um, he could quite literally just drive up to it, unload the six pounder in its face, which is just <laughs> really, really annoying for Vahati to deal with. He's gonna have to predict where player's gonna unload that and then try and mortar it uh, based upon that. He can, of course, tuck up against his tree line and uh, hope that way. Uh, but it looks like player is going to be going for the unload into this tree line. Staghound here. That's looking for the engagement with the Panzer 3M. Into the town. Stern Pioneers do arrive. One of the half tracks already dead though. Oh, nice kill from a six pa 17 pounder though. Does get the engine destroyed. Gets the kill onto the Panzer 4. Removing even more fire support from Vorhati. And one thing that player has done incredibly well is just reinforce the salience with the most annoying units he can. Like getting the 17 pounder in on this top side is just really smart. Um, getting the 17 pounder into the mid here just counters the movement from the Marder 3 and Panzer 3M. And there's just nothing really that Vohati can do. He's just choking him at this moment. And the Jagdpanzer is going to come in, which is a nice choice. Especially considering the six panel will penetrate or will struggle to penetrate that in the front armor. But he's just got to be careful uh, not to allow it to get too close because otherwise the penetration chance uh, will increase. And it's going to be engaging. Jagdpanzer can turn to face at this sort of range. I think the Jagdpanzer will probably just face tank some of the shots and will continue to do so. Knowing that's there, 257, going to be getting the mortar fire on target. But I think what player might be trying to do is reload that and maybe run it away. Could be something to do. Anyway, Vohati's attempts at pushing through this town continue. And uh, the Stern Pioneers, it seems as though they're making some ground. But it's not really enough. Still a plus three for player as he sits on the 66% territory lead. Stern Pioneers are going to come in and help clean up this Stragoni with the help of the Pioneer. The Pioneer uses up his second grenade in order to get the job done. Surprised the 17 pounder isn't firing. Could definitely 
clean up that uh, half track and allow other infantry to be more effective. But yeah, Vohati, he's got the Sturm Pioneer. That's now countered by Sir Percy. And something that the uh, Polish are quite well known for. Those Percy are certainly a unit that only they have. 10 man flamethrower squad. Very nice indeed. Anyway, six pounder was taken out down here, and the 17 pounder is also pinned. But is it pinned long enough for it to stop killing the Panzer III? I think the Panzer III, if it gets a shot on target, will pin the 17 pounder. It didn't because it missed. Oh, that Panzer III. It's going to start to fall back. And that's surely not what Vohati wanted. Oh, he can't just ignore the Staghound. That's the problem. The half-track saves the day, though. Panzer III now going to try and take on the Staghound. Can the Staghound find the kill onto the Panzer III? Or will Vohati be able to break back here? Firefly 1C causes the Panzer 3M to fall back. Staghound's pushing very aggressively. Finishes off the Marder III. It's going to pin down the Panzer Gönfjörer. They're going to be surrendered, surely. Now can focus on the Panzer 3M. Firefly is going to fire once again. Panzer 3M, unlucky to not get the kill onto the Staghound there. Wow, this engagement. Players just been taking advantage of every little thing he can in this game. It's been an absolute, just beautiful game to watch, honestly. Jagd Panzer 4 takes out the Cromwell 6 on this bottom side. And there is starting to be a little bit of ground made here. This Jagdpans are certainly turning the tide, as I suggested it might, but is it in time? At the end of the day, there's 2,000, over 2,000 points on players' side of things, and still a 66% territory lead. And with both the Panzer 3M and the Marder 3 taken care of in the mid, this Staghound is free to engage all of the vehicles on the top side, including the Panzerwerfer if it wants to. And there really isn't much AT here for Vohati to fight back with. He has of course the Panzerfaust on the Panzer Grenadiers, but there's no AT, there's no tanks. The top side's very bare and can be completely flanked uh, by this single Staghound. The Jagdpanzer now continuing to push with the help of the Spear Troop. Uh, player is going to be backing off with his Firefly. I don't think he wants to uh, force an engagement with the Jagdpanzer if he can help it. Would Probably prefer to maybe wait on a 17 pounder in phase C or something like another one and bring that in to make that engagement. But Vohati bringing it back to just a plus two. Now going to be relying on this two star pack 40. That can maybe clean up the Firefly 1C here in the stag count, but that remains to be seen. SBW234 is under fire from that Firefly Hurricane Mark IV comes in on the bottom side. Is actually going to force the Jagdpanzer and the 232 to fall back with one bombing strike. That is very significant because now the Firefly can rush forwards, take its time, get a nice penetrating shot into the Jagdpanzer. It has all the time in the world here and the Jagdpanzer is currently showing side armor and it's not even technically falling back it's still driving towards the firefly 1c that is very unfortunate here for vohati and surely that is all hope lost pack 40 needs to get into this tree line and start firing away meanwhile so Percy engaging the panzer grenadiers pin those down very quickly indeed do a lot of damage with the help of the sherman 5 Pioneers are out of grenades there, so they're not going to be very effective. Oh, this is just so bad. Firefly takes out the 232, cleaned up the Jagdpanzer. The Pack 40 can take out the Staghound and possibly any other units it can see, but since the Fireflies moved to the bottom side to accompany the other one, well, Vlahati's going to have to get the hell out of there with that mortar half track, and when he does, that's just more and more in favour of player, and it looks like. We're actually going to see this go down to the 2,500 point mark. Player with just such a superb performance versus Vohati's 116th. And I can't help but feel that this is a division that really doesn't suit the playstyle of Vohati. Um, 
I didn't really expect the 116th to focus the town. I thought he would maybe focus more on Panzer threes and 258s and stuff in order to like maybe gain a little bit of advantage in the open then sort of remain defensive at the town because there's surely no way that you're going to get through the infantry availability of the first Panzerna uh, going into that town. So that confused me and I think player just made the most of it. He really did. 1,865 kills to 1,085 losses in the end for player and what a fantastic performance. This Stagham was microed very well in the town. Took out a lot of those initial units. The initial kill onto the 232, that being the first kill, was so important because taking away the veterancy from the remainder of those units in the town not only meant that they could be surrendered, it meant that they were less combat effective. And I think veterancy is so important for the sometimes lackluster units of the 116th. Like Panda 3s, like the, especially the Panzer 3Ls and the Panzer 3Ms, they're only ever good when they're three stars. I don't think I've seen them really do too well uh, when they're two-star veterancy. We did see one kill onto a stag hound with a two-star Panzer 3, but other than that, not really. And that's just one of the troubles with that particular vehicle. It, go, it goes for most of the uh, the stuff that the 116th can bring at, in, actually, uh, especially like the, the Recon 2341s and so on. They really need that veterancy to be like as effective as they can be because especially with the 2341s, they have a lack of ammo on their 20 mil. So those 20 mil shots really have to count. And that's why accuracy bonus from the veterancy is very important. From our five takes out the Panzer Grenadiers there. The 17 pounders and the timing on those was absolutely superb. Really, really well done. Bringing that one in north of the town, really nice. The one on the bottom side in the mid was a bit misplaced, but still definitely uh, held back the uh, Marda 3 and the uh, Panzer 3 that were threatening in the mid. The use of the Firefly to uh, clean up those was nice, though, and that Staghound that came through in the mid as well was also really nice. Firefly accompanied by that one bomber, Hurricane Bomber, took out the Jagdpanzer and the 232. In terms of losses, the Panzer 3, it did kill the Stag Cannon and Cromwell 5. Okay, that one paid itself off. Uh, but other than that, uh, some seriously bad engagements. Uh, Marder 3 didn't pay itself off. Uh, Jagdpanzer, it took out a Cromwell 6, but didn't really do as much as it needed to in the end. And this one pack 40 could only find the shot onto the stag count because the Firefly had moved out the way. The 257 on the bottom side was micro quite nicely by Fuhati, especially considering it was under a lot of pressure. It didn't really have much support. But a lot of this infantry just died so easily. Like these Panzer Grenadiers, you only have four of them in phase A, maximum. And investing them in the town, attritional warfare, I think it's probably one of the biggest mistakes I've seen for Hattie make. Anyway, that leads us on to the second game where I would expect Vohati will not be making the same mistakes again. So we are in for a good couple more games, I hope. Um, but for now, player goes 1-0 up in this best of three against Vohati. We'll have to see in the next game if Vohati can bring it back to 1-1. But until then, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.